y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to Stamping Live with me, TX Stampin' Sharon Armstrong. I'm super happy tonight because we're going to be doing four fun fold cards. And they're going to be so fast and easy, you're going to go, really? That was it? This, this whole concept that I have, um, I started with techniques to put in a binder. We're going to show the binder in just a minute. And now we're adding... Uh, fun folds to that binder. We're calling it a reference guide because as crafters, we're constantly wanting to find the new and all of that. But sometimes we don't know what something's called or we forgot where we saw it. So I am developing this reference guide for y'all to have so that you don't have to hunt for it. All you got to do is turn the pages. So there you go. It is, um, let's see, what is today? Today is um, October the 13th. And it is 7 p.m. Central. I have a lot of people joining me live already. Um, and so I want to say hello to them. Um, I've been doing a little bit of chatting, but um, I was trying to get all my equipment ready, making sure I have everything prepared. Um, like I said, these four fun folds are super fun and they're different. Um, I did decide as I was writing up the tutorials that some things are called the same thing, like a Z-fold card. Well, there's like several different ways to do a Z-fold card. So in my series, I'm going to be numbering it. We've already done, we did a Z-fold card, card last month in September. So this month it's Z-fold number two. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know what else to call it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna have our own numbering system. Um, and I think you'll understand once you see the cards. So anyway, um, hello, Marlene. Hi, Deb from Northern Maine. Oh, I see people just popping on. Hi, Kathy, who loves fun folds. I'm so glad. Uh, let's see. Um, hello, Terry. How are you? Okay. And then we have Bonnie from Ohio. So welcome, welcome everybody. Everybody's finding me and they're all jumping on because this is a live. So for those of you on the replay, I'm not going to do a whole lot of chatting at the beginning. I'm going to kind of chat throughout as um, I go ahead and turn the camera. We're going to go ahead and let's see, let's move everything over just a tad. There we go. We're centered more. We are, I am going to be using Cottage Rose uh, stamp set. However, um, you could use any stamp set. So as we are um, live and you guys are chatting in the chat box, I, I do want to mention my friend, Michelle Batson. Michelle helps me answer your questions while we're live. Okay. So if you have a question, you can type the at sign. Uh, which is her handle I learned today. YouTube has changed my handle. <laughs> um, whenever you see me type, uh, to type the at sign, it's TX Stampin' Sharon Armstrong. I was always calling myself just TX Stampin' Sharon, but YouTube renamed me. So there you go. So Michelle's name is at Michelle Batson. So if you have a question, what did she use? What was that paper? What's that stamp set? You could ask her and she'll help you with that. At the end of the evening, I will glance back up. If there is a question that um, I missed that she asked me or that y'all asked me, then I will, um, I'll be able to answer it at the end. So there you go. Let's see. Terry says, yay, I have that one. Always a plus when I have the stamp set. Um, I think, hi, Bay. I didn't see you on earlier. Hello, Gail. How are you? Um, and then we have Judith. Jeannie says, I find it to be frustration on my Pinterest. All of the different names for the same thing. See, messes up your pages. I'm just saying. I'm like, well, there's different ways to do a Z fold. I, and I know in my head, there's like four other ways. So we're just going to number them in my program. Okay, there we go. All right. So we are using Cottage Rose and I am using the dies that are called Cottage Flowers dies. Um, I have some tips to share with those. Oh, we're just going to leave this out. 
We're going to put this over here because we're going to grab those in a minute. And I am using, I was going to show you all the paper. You're going to see the paper that I'm using um, throughout the evening. However, my paper is kind of cut up and I don't have a full pack. So in the annual catalog that Stampin' Up! sells or on my website that you can find the link below the video, on page 133, you will see the Abigail Rose Designer Series paper. Stampin' Up! has beautiful designer series papers, um, and a lot of y'all don't want to cut them up. Shane, you, you got to cut them up. You got to use them. I'm just saying. You can buy more, but you need to cut them up. I love this pattern because some of them you could color, but some of them you don't have to color, and they're still gorgeous. So I chose this one. So this is what we're using tonight. By the way, since I have the catalogs out here, if you all do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you don't have these catalogs, I am more than happy to send them to you for free. You can contact me below the video on my blog. Do I have the link down there? Um, you can go to my blog, TX Stampin' Sharon. And let me just pop that up real quick. You can click on uh, Request Catalog. Okay, it's an easy button um, that you can just grab that um, grab that uh, menu, at, <laughs> click that button, and then request a catalog. I'll spit it out eventually. <laughs> okay, so I told you guys my idea was to have a card making reference guide. Okay, um, I have these set two different ways. Um, first of all, how do you get these? You get these for free with a $50 order during the month of October on my website, my Stampin' Up! website. You want to buy the Cottage Rose. You want to buy the Designer Series paper, the Abigail Rose. Um, you place a $50 order before tax and shipping. Um, and then I will send you via email the tutorial. The tutorial is designed to stay at eight and a half by 11. So we have our pages, okay? Or you can cut on the lines and be able to put it in the album that Stampin' Up! sells, okay? So I have got my album. Let me just flip back over here. Here is my Fun Fold Tutorials Volume 2. We have Volume 1, okay? And I'm trying to find a, a creative way to mark where my folds start. But all of these pages at the beginning, they're all the techniques that we learned that we started this, this series last October, okay? So we did 10 months of techniques. And I think I'm going to bring those back again because it just doesn't seem right to not have a full year of techniques. So stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, so all of this at the beginning is just my index in my book. Um, but we're going to jump to our fun folds for tonight. And this is actually last month's. I love having the reference. Okay. So the way I have done it is I've cut up my sheets and I have them here. I have the pictures of my cards and then I have the supplies that I used as well as measurements. Okay. And those are just from my cards. All right. If you're using another stamp set, you're using other designer series paper, it all works the same. Okay. Um, all right, so let's get busy. Let's go ahead. And I think I'm going to put this over here. Oh, by the way, there's some. Okay, for those of y'all who've been doing this with me, uh, Sue says, I love how organized you are, TX Stampin'. Uh, it makes life so much easier when we can get organized and then just be able to flip through. So, you know, you've, um, you've got the book. And you're sitting there trying to be crafty and you're like, oh, what do I want to do today? Wait, what was that baby wipe technique? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would work perfect for the card that I want to make. I mean, you're just, it's just so much easier. Maybe I'm old school, even though I have to be on the internet and on the computer. I'm old school. I just want to look through the book. Just like I want to look through the catalog instead of looking online at the PDF. So there you go. Okay, so before I forget, I have never done this. I mean, I've been, we have, this is our 12th month of using this template, okay? I've never taken the whole thing and taken it to the paper trimmer before. I did that today when I was putting all my pieces in my album. Don't do that. Let me show you why. 
This does not line up with this. Do y'all see that? Can y'all see the visual? This does not line up. The, the measurements are off and I chopped mine in half. <laughs> I just thought I'd share my faux pas with y'all <laughs> because I did. I just chopped it right in half. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to share that with y'all so you don't do the same thing. Always love that. Okay. If you are attending the Creative 8 retreat this weekend, let me see it in the comments because we have, we are starting tomorrow night. And I am super excited. Um, we have worked so hard. The Creative 8 team, which is myself, um, Connie Stewart, Jackie Bullheis, and Brandy Cox. We are all Stampin' Up! demonstrators who love to inspire y'all. Um, Tamika says, me. And Terry says, I am. Jeannie says, I think I will. You better be there, Jeannie. What do you mean you think you will? All right. I have cut all my pieces, but I am not scoring. I did not pre-score because I want to score with y'all. This one is called, I'm calling this the double flat fold. Might be called something else because everybody has their own style. And look at all these people who are coming tomorrow night. If you have not signed up for the retreat and you want to come, you can still register. Look below the video and click the uh, online retreats, and then you can register. You haven't missed a thing. We start tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central. All right, so my first piece of paper, I am going to score at five and a half, okay? Then I have, oh, it would help if I showed y'all the card. <laughs> Here's the card. Look how fun this is. So double flat fold, double front flat fold. I don't know. But I was like, well, that's not very much room to write. So why don't we just add another layer? There you go. So you could leave it at that. You could just have this be um, a flat piece and this just be your card. But, you know. Oh, I understand, Jeannie. You had to wait till payday. Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> so that is our card. Okay. Now, I have cut all of the pieces that are in my instructions, okay? And I want y'all to do the same thing. When you get your tutorial, I want you to do the same thing because I feel like this is a great visual. I am a visual learner. I want to see how it's all going to play out, okay? And the reason is, is that we have these two fun flaps, okay? These fun flaps on our fun fold card, <laughs> So we want to make sure that, you know, we've, we've got the visual of the pieces, okay? So one piece is bigger. Whoops, where'd my thing go? And I want to score this at one quarter of an inch, okay? We've got a skinny little line there, okay? Then this piece, I'm scoring this what I call on the long side. This piece is longer. So, um, you know, I scored it here and then the same thing here, this piece is longer as well. Just mid double check yourself, make sure. Um, and so we're going to score that at one quarter of an inch as well. Okay. So now we have all of our scoring done, which is super easy. But like I said, I wanted to show y'all the visuals because, um, oh, look, I'm seeing lots of y'all are visuals. Y'all are visual learners too. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we have all of our pieces. I'm gonna get our adhesive. I'm going to score this. And I'm gonna give it a crease with my bone folder. I know this is a dark color and I've taught y'all that when we are scoring dark cardstock, we wanna use a scrap piece of paper. But this piece right here isn't gonna show, so I'm not too worried about it. And then we're gonna do this. Y'all, my allergies kicked in today. I look like I'm crying all the time. My husband and I are doing the same thing. We're like, what the heck? I have, I, what's going on outside? <laughs> okay, so I have a piece of designer series paper. This is the beautiful, um, uh, designer series paper called Abigail Rose. That's what I'm using. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to attach these to the back of this. Okay. So I'm going to take, we're going to get some adhesive. And we're just going to put that right there. Tuck that in a little bit. It was a little too fat. That's okay. All right. So then we're going to take the, whoops, we're going to take this. Um, that's not okay because I want it this way. See, you got to do the visual. We got to do the visual. We got to make sure we're good. Okay. So we got that one. And then, oh, y'all's allergies are terrible too. I'm like, I don't, I, I look like I'm crying on YouTube. <laughs> I hope it doesn't look that way on the camera, but I can see it. Um, I can feel it. In other words, <laughs> it's like, I'm not crying. I'm happy. It's our Thursday night live time together. Okay. Um, Terry Biggs says my company pays for my retreats. Get 50 twice a year gift cards. <gasps> How sweet of them, Terry. Do they know what they're doing for you? <laughs> All right. Now this one. It doesn't matter where the fun folds line up. I like them offset, but I don't there. I don't. I don't think it really matters. Okay. Oh my gosh, Stella just cracked me up. She's I'm having a love affair with Claritin this week. <laughs> All right, now I'm still giving this good good creases with my bone folder, and this also helps get that adhesive to sit, you know, to stick well. So there we go. That's our basis for our fun float, fun flap, double, what I call it, double flap fold. And I realized I got some extra adhesive. So be careful when you do that. Um, Cheryl Martin says, I live in Pennsylvania. My allergies are the same. All right. Because I got some extra adhesive, I do need to fix that. I don't know how I did that, but I got too much right there. So... We're going to take and we're going to roll that off with an eraser. Um, it will come off. Thank goodness. You know, there's no such thing as a boo-boo when you're making cards. You know, there's always a way to fix something. You should never get stressed. There's always a way to fix it. And, um, you know, it's just paper. Just cut another piece. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've just about got it. And if nothing else, I've gotten the sticky off of it. There we go. I don't know how I did that. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. I've got my designer series paper that's going to go on the front. Go ahead and add that. Oh, Nancy, what will we do without that eraser, right? Okay, so we're going to add this piece. And then we have this cute little piece. And before we add it, I'm actually going to stamp on it. Did I stamp? I stamped in. I'm getting my early espresso out. Where do we get those type of erasers? You know, Stampin' Up! used to sell them a long time ago. Uh, look on Amazon. Look on um, at any craft store. Um, Cheryl, you can find them. Just search for um, adhesive remover, adhesive eraser. All right. So I am, I am stamping friends forever. My team name is Stampin' Friends Forever. And y'all know that Stampin' Up, if you don't know, let me tell you, Stampin' Up is offering um, a great, a great deal this month. Um, you can you can get a starter kit, which technically means you're a demonstrator, but you don't have to get on YouTube and do what I'm doing. You don't have to write blog posts. You don't have to do any of that. Um, they are offering $155 in the starter kit, and you only pay $99. Okay, so it's a sweet deal. Okay, we've got this here. It's a very sweet deal. And... I think everyone should try being a demonstrator just for the discount, if nothing else. And you never know, you might decide, hey, that's kind of fun. I want to share this with my friends and have some friends over and stamp. You never know where it's going to go. Okay. So look at that. I didn't even have to take all that off. <laughs> well, I did. I mean, I had a little bit right there. Okay. So anyway, you can uh, become a demonstrator. 
you get to save 20% every time you place an order. Um, and when you join my team during October, you get to come to a stamp along a, on a Zoom call with me and my friend, Jackie Bullhouse, Bullheis. We went to the beach and plotted and planned this whole fun thing out. Um, we've got four projects already done and made, and you will get to um, make them along with us. There you go. If you have any questions about joining my team called Stamping Friends Forever, which is every time I stamp that, I think about this, um, then you can click below the video, contact me, ask questions. Um, yeah, let's get you signed up. Okay, so we have this done. Um, oh, yeah, the embossing buddy will take, there is a little bit of adhesive right there. Where is my embossing buddy? You can take the embossing buddy. And you can get that adhesive to where it's not so sticky, that powder. Um, Gail says, being a discount diva, oh my gosh, Gail, I love that, is the best. Getting sneak peeks and pre-orders on new items and the community is amazing. I am going to copy what you just said, Gail. That is brilliant. It, everything she said is true. A discount diva, I love that. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to add adhesive, and I'm really going to try to get those edges. Where did mine? We'll just pull this one out. really want to get those edges. Well, it would help if I had adhesive. I just ran out. <laughs> I always have a spare. But being a discount diva means every month or every time you place an order, you get to... Um, save 20% and it could even lead to 25%. Um, and I can explain all that to y'all. So here's my tip. When you are scoring dark colored cardstock, put a piece of paper over it and you won't be able to see that sheen. All right, so we're just gonna line this up on the front, okay. Kate Wright says, Sharon is the one you want to sign up with Stampin' Up With. Well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so while we're adding adhesive, let's go ahead. I have a piece of basic white that we're going to add on the inside. I'm not as friendly with Seal as I am with Seal Plus. I really thought I had added a new, this one, there's a difference between these two adhesives, and that's what I'm talking about. This is Seal, and this is Seal Plus. Seal gives me a little bit more of a stringy um, adhesive, and the Seal Plus does not. Okay, so now what we're doing is we are going to stamp. We're going to get, we're going to do a little decorating. Jean, Jean H says she loves the colors of this DSP in my card, but my budget. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, we were talking about joining for 150. You get to shop for 155 and you only pay 99. When you guys are placing an order, if you get anywhere close to $90, $99, please stop and go, wait, would I like to get more bang from my buck? and still only pay $99, maybe I should become a demonstrator. Just saying. And you know what? If you try it and it doesn't work out, the Stampin' Up! Police do not come get your stuff. <laughs> you get to keep it. All right, we're going to talk about this die because see this great big die right here? This die, and this is why I have a scrap of um, um, Petal Pink. Because it's going to, you're going to place this, you're going to line these little flowers up, whoops, like that. And so you don't want to waste a whole lot of cardstock up here, okay? Now, I've already die cut mine because this is not about learning how to die cut, but I wanted to teach that tip to you so that you don't waste cardstock. So that was one thing I wanted to tell you. And... We are going to pull this out. This is our sample card. And move that over. We have got our flowers right here. And we have our stamp set. You are positively the greatest. That's what stampers are. They're positively the greatest. So again, I'm using Early Espresso. 
And I'm just going to stamp right here. Why my voice? Am I losing my voice? <gasps> that would be terrible. <laughs> Please don't let me lose my voice. We have a retreat tomorrow night. Okay, so now I'm just going to use um, a little bit of adhesive. And we're just going to decorate right here. Turn these over. Just adding a little, little color inside. There we go. So now we have done our card. And I know Terry's like, don't lose your voice. Um, and so there you have it, my friends. That is, I'm calling it the double flap number two fold. I've, I've got all these numbered now so that you guys can um, figure them out. Next, we're going to do the book bind fold. I love the book bind fold. The first time I ever made this card or this type of card, I was like, oh my word, are you kidding me? How fun is this? Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. We are going to take, I'll show you the card because I think it's gorgeous. Whoops. Whose long hair is that? I don't have long hair. <laughs> All right. Here is my card. Look at that. And so when you open it up, just a part of it. Isn't that pretty? I think it's gorgeous. I just think it's so pretty. The tip, the trick to doing this fun fold. Well, hello, Gail. You are late to the party, but you are here and we're glad. All right. So I am scoring at four and a half and five and a half. That's it for the scoring on this card. Can we just give a shout out to the Simply Score tool? It is like my favorite tool. I love it because it gives such great uh, creases, okay? You can definitely see your uh, creases when you make them. So I'm gonna use my bone folder to give these even better creases, like this, like this. And then, y'all, we're going to have to just take out, I got to have my seal plus. I'm sorry. I just, I'm spoiled. I like my, <laughs> I like my seal plus. And so we're going to replace this. Since it is so easy to do, we're just going to pop this in. Oh, Mary, you and me both. I love my Simply Scored. All right, I wanted um, a strong adhesive for this part. So if you don't have Seal Plus, you don't like Seal Plus, you could use um, tear and tape, you could use liquid glue. But what we want to do is we want to put a good amount, let's get this started, of adhesive right here on that one inch piece. Okay. So this is between the four and a half and the five and a half. Okay. And then I'm just going to close it. So this causes more like a book bind is what we call it. Okay. So there's that. And then we're just going to decorate. But the fun part about decorating is this is one of the pieces of um, designer series paper, and we're going to do some coloring. Yeah. Um, and I know that leaves, don't tell me, I know leaves are green, but my leaves tonight are going to be from cake <laughs> because that's what goes with my, my color scheme. So I'm just using Stampin' Blends because they really do uh, give me a good um, image. You know, when you're coloring, we get nice, clean strokes. You do want to have something underneath you when you are using... Um, when you are using uh, Stampin' Blends because it does bleed through. By the way, I forgot to tell y'all, at 8 p.m. tonight, you will be able to go to my tutorial store and purchase these tutorials for $15. What a deal, right? I do all the work and you only pay $15. What a deal. Or you can get them free, like I said earlier, um, for uh, a $50 order on my website and then I will email them to you. So at 8 p.m. tonight, you'll be able to go to my tutorial store. You'll go to my shop button on www.txstampin.com. 
All right, so quickly, we are just coloring these leaves. What else? What else do we want to color? Oh, there's some leaves. I just cut the designer series paper. Some people may not want to color the leaves. They just want to leave them, which is fine as, as well. But I love coloring. So there you go. I think coloring is very therapeutic. Now I'm going to try something. I've been watching different people color these flowers. And so I have the dark petal pink. And I'm going to start with that. Typically, I start with the light. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to start with the dark. I saw Shelly Gardner color this stamp set with this technique. She started, well, Shelly is the one who started Stampin' Up! But she started using the dark. And I was like, really? Hmm. There's no right or wrong way to do um, Stampin' Blends. So I... It's just super quick, no stress. I love Stampin' Blends. You can get them in assortment of colors. One day, my dream is that we'll have them in all of our colors. <laughs> all right, so on this one, I am just going to hit the lines that the artist did. Same with this card, same with this card, same with this flower. Just hitting the darker lines. Yeah. Oh, I think all these should be dark. And the fun thing about the blends is that you don't have to be perfect. Did y'all know that? You know, being a perfectionist is so stressful. You don't have to be perfect when you're coloring. These are handmade cards. And I guarantee you, if you look at cards, cards, cards um, that, you know, I call them brand X cards that are made in the store. They're not perfect. All right. So now I'm coming back with the lighter color and I'm just kind of blending, just going around. I want some white space. I'm not being perfect. I want a little bit of white space peeking through, which makes this so super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, that was a leaf. Ah, looked like a flower to me. Yep, we're going to fix it. There we go. Whoops. Yep, that's a flower. One more. Okay. Oh, tiny one peeking out over here. Look at these little guys. Okay. Now it's time to add it to our crumb cake layer. I do give you all the measurements in the tutorial. You know, it's maybe it's just me too. I'm getting older. I, I, I think that's like three and a half by three and a half. I don't, I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Before I do that, we are going to add our piece of designer series paper. Okay, we're going to put that on. This paper is so versatile. I mean, until you start playing with it, Stella said if it was a Hallmark, it wouldn't look this good. Stella, you are just full of great comments tonight, girl. All right, so we're going to add that piece. And then I have a little piece that we're going to put on right here. Just decorating our card front. And like I said, guys, I'm using cottage rose, but please don't let, don't put the blinders on because that's, you're like, well, I don't have cottage rose. I can't use it. Use something else. If you don't like cottage rose, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like cottage rose, why don't you just pick something else that you do like um, and just use that. I'm trying not to look at the comments because I get thrown off every time. Um, and Michelle is on duty, so she's got you. Y'all give a shout out to Michelle. What would we do without her? All right. We're going to put this on here. We've got a piece of white to go on the inside. When you are putting your card together following my instructions, make sure that you check. Which way does this go? Oh, it fits better that way. OK, 
Okay. Tons of flowers with Stampin' Up. Okay, we're not done with this card because we are going to use, where is it? This gorgeous, okay, I thought this was going to feel very stiff. This is called Natural Finish Ribbon. And we're going to make a bow. We're going to tie a bow. And I always do the two little, what do they call it, rabbit ears? <laughs> There's so many ways to tie a bow and, you know, I think I tie a bow different depending on the ribbon or twine that I'm using. I'm just going to pull this. I'm just going to pull it back, holding the middle, trying to get it straightened up. I don't want it quite that big. There we go. Okay, we're going to grab our scissors. Ooh, that end got a little frayed. Turn that off. So this ribbon is super soft and it looks bulky, but it is going to flatten lovely to go in my um, uh, envelope. Um, so let's see, we're gonna get some glue dots. I'm gonna put two glue dots because I feel like it needs it. Boy, I don't like how my voice is sounding. Y'all say a little, little prayer for me that I don't lose my voice before tomorrow night for the retreat. <laughs> Jackie and then will kill me. Okay. We're going to add this right here on our, on our book bind. How pretty. And then we want, we're going to add these um, elegant faceted gems. Okay. We're going to pop these on. Just bringing in a little bit more of that subtle color. So pretty. So pretty, right? There we go. That is card number two. Um, Vey says I need a, a, a class in bow tying. I'm not very coordinated. Girlfriend, you saw how I did that? Just try and pull and push and pull. You'll get it. You'll get it. But I'm happy to try to teach y'all other ways to do bows. They have these little things. I think I even have one that helps you tie bows. All right. What is our next one? So here's our Z fold number two. Okay. Here is our Z fold number two. Whoops. Ready? Y'all see the Z? There we go. Okay. I'm glad y'all love that card. Thank you. Again, with the paper, uh, with the Simply Scored, we are... We got a piece of crumb cake. Seriously, I don't know who's here that is. I do not have, oh, I bet my daughter when she was here. Okay, so I've got my uh, card stock. Typical eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to score it right here. And then we're going to back up and we're going to score at two and an eighth. Uh, use honey and lemon and ginger. Yes, ma'am. I have all of that and I will do that. I'm, I'm sure it's my dang allergies. I mean, my eyes are watering. I feel like I'm boohooing. So now we have our little Z fold. Okay. All right. Yay, Kathy, you're loving my cards. Thank you. This card could not be any easier. I'm telling you guys, not any easier. Again, with my visuals, Everything is lining up. I am going to use some liquid glue because I have a very thin, and we're just using a little bit, I have a very thin border on my layer here. So I need to make sure that I can do a little bit of wiggling. Okay, so she has a bow maker somewhere. She's never used it. We all need to, my friend sells them. We all need to order a bow maker from her and we'll all get her to teach us. <laughs> how to use the bow maker. All right. So we've got both pieces. I'm just going to talk for just a second. Hold these down. Um, Kathy says she loves the tone on tone of my cards. I think that, I, thank you, because I agree. I think that that is just, that's what makes these cards is the tone on tone. Um, okay. So now guys, what I want you to think about is we're going to put one piece on the inside, okay? And then, well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and put the piece on the inside. This might be easier 
for you guys to do the visual this way. I'm going to put the piece on the inside. Okay. Um, and then this piece needs to line up exactly, okay, with the one underneath, all right? But we only want adhesive on the left side. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to flip it over. I've got my finger there. Whoops, we want our other adhesive. Got my finger there. We only want adhesive on that left side. And then we're lining it up just like that, okay? Then we have our piece for the inside. Taking the Creative Eight. Are you coming to the retreat, Sabrina or Sabra? Um, so then we're going to, once again, your nails match the card. Y'all, they messed up my nails today. No, I'm not even going to let you see the close up. They do match, but they weren't, they were supposed to be a little bit better on matching. Um, my normal guy was not able to do it. And so I let somebody else do my nails. He's meeting me back up at the shop when I get done with my live tonight because he knows I'm not happy. <laughs> Am I spoiled? Is that spoiled? Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. So on my card, you can see that I have stamped and um, I've already die cut out. I've, so I've stamped the images from the stamp set and I've used the dies. Let's talk about the dies one more time because they look dark around the edges, Renee. Exactly. So these were supposed to be brown. The, br the brown that you see underneath, they were supposed to be brown. And she put too much glitter. Like, yeah, see? And the, oh. <laughs> Renee, my buddy, picked up right on that. All right. So this flower cuts out of here. Okay, y'all see that? Sorry, let me turn it over. That's where that comes from. So this big die, don't think that you have to use this great big die all the time. Nay, nay, we've already cut our three little flowers out and now we have this, okay? All right, so there's that. Judy says, there's nothing wrong with being spoiled <laughs> by my nail guy. He calls me bling bling YouTuber. That's what he calls me. All right, so once again, we're going to do some coloring, but this time, my friends, we're using the blender pens. We just want a little bit of subtle color. Now, I stamped these, I don't know, three hours ago, four hours ago. I'm just going to take and I'm going to start pulling and I'm just getting a little bit of color. Now, when you are doing this, you do not want to scribble back and forth on your basic white. That is a key thing because the basic white cardstock can peel up. In other words, you're chewing up the paper with your st uh, Stampin' Blends. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Can y'all see the color difference? It's just very subtle. Almost looks yellow, but it's not. Okay, we're just coloring, coloring. It's just the blender pens allow you, if you don't have all the Stampin' Up, uh, Stampin' Write markers, the blending pens are your next best thing. Just stamp anything in any ink color. They have to be water-based. And then you can use your blender pen to have a basically a marker in that color. Isn't that cool? Now, after you are done using it, there is a step that we want to do. Mary Yates says, I have my nail tech's personal number. I texted him and I said, I'm sorry you couldn't be there today, but I need your help. You want to be able to wipe off that tip, okay? The blender pens will recover. They're a little bit stained, but it will recover. You just want to wipe off that excess as you, um, after you're done coloring. Okay, there's my... I was like, where did my dimensionals go? All right. So we are going to add some dimensionals. Love the blender pen, says M. Wyman. Mm -hmm. They're so, they are just, I mean, they're just, I think we tend to forget some of the stuff that we buy as crafters. 
So, you know, I like to remind you guys, don't forget about your blender pens. They were, they've been here for, they've been around for a long time. All right. So we've got all of our dimensional backs. We're going to pop those off. And we're going to add this right here. And then this. And there we go. We're going to grab, this time we're going to grab our champagne uh, rhinestones. And we're going to pop them on. Now I decided, you know, you guys tell me all the time. You can use numbers, you can put embellishments in, in groups of three or five. Somebody tell me in the comments, why can't I do six? I've always wondered that. You guys tell me that. And I'm like, well, what if I wanted six? <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm being a stinker tonight. Okay, time for another bow, y'all. Okay, we've got our ribbon. We're going to go ahead and snip that off. And I like to leave it on the bolt so that I don't waste it. Odd numbers draw the eye better. There you go, Kate. So does mine, does mine draw your eye? <laughs> I just always wondered, why can't I put even numbers? Why can't I do three and or six? I, I mean, why can't I just do two? Okay, so we're pulling and pulling. We're going to pull that way in because this ribbon is really, it has a tendency to get big on us. Okay. Yeah, we need to talk about Miss Pippi, Pippi Longstocking. She has graduated to being able to wear a little donut out in the yard and go hang out with her um, her big bubba, Harley. We're going to have to make this bow go sideways. I didn't push this up enough. It's okay. Kate Wright says, my cards always draw my eyes. <laughs> Kate, you're so sweet. Okay, for those of you guys who've been wanting to know, we are going to do a kit together in November. I am looking at dates. So if you're on my newsletter list, you will get the information about our kit together. Ooh, I think I like the feel of that better on the back side. Yeah, we're going to change that bow. We're going to do a kit together in November. Um, so it, all the details will be in my newsletter list or my newsletter um, coming out pretty soon. I'm looking at the first part of November. Um, the stamp along with Jackie, for those who join my team, will be um, November 8th. So it won't be then. Okay, here's our card. Oops. We need to stamp inside. We need to feel better. We're going to pull out um, soft suede for this one. Thank you, Heidi. Heidi says I can put as many embellishments as I want. Thank you, girlfriend. We're going to use soft suede this time instead of early espresso because... We have a softer, we have softer flowers this time. We don't have dark, okay? So we're going to use, Mary Yates says, yay, a kit together. Y'all be looking at the kits and decide which ones you're going to get. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. We're going to stamp, feel better soon. Who was it? Paula at the beginning of the um, chat said that she was homesick. It's her birthday. So, Paula, we hope you feel better soon, and happy birthday. Okay, there's that card. Our last card for tonight is, whoops, the double point fold. Yay. Okay, so once again, our buddy. I don't know why I have that piece of white. Oh, that was, you need a piece of scrap white when you're stamping your flowers, but I'd already stamped and cut mine out. Okay, so here's that gorgeous paper. Okay, now when you're picking um, designer series paper for this card or this type of fold, make sure that um, Judy says I can go rogue. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> make sure that you like both sides for what you're doing. Does that make sense? All right, so on this one, let me get my 
When you are scoring designer series paper, use the fatter ball of your stylus and go with a gentle hand. I'm a very heavy handed person. So I always try to remind myself of that. I'm going to score this at three and a half and I believe at nine. Uh, yep, nine. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to put a little mark. Mm, no, we're going to do it this way. Where's my Sharpie? I'm going to do a little Sharpie right there for y'all to see. Can y'all see that? Yep. At two inches. And then I'm going to turn this and I'm going to do a Sharpie at two inches. Okay. And just because it's so light, here's my score line here and here. There, you can see that. And here and here. That's the edges of my score line. Um, that's it. I don't need any more of, I don't need my Simply Scored anymore. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go from one dot to the other to form a point. Um, here from this one to this one, and now we have a point. Okay. So this is the double point fold. We want points on our DSP. Point to point, dot to dot. We're connecting the dots with my scissors. By the way, these are no longer my ribbon scissors. I do have a pair of ribbon scissors, but those have been re those have been moved, and these are now paper scissors because sometimes I just want bigger scissors. All right, we're going to use our bone folder again, and. Dawn Anda says, I forget more than I remember. You know what? Thank you for saying that because that's how I feel. I do the same thing. All right. We're not going to put any adhesive here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm, no, don't try to glue this down. The best thing you can do is to stamp your images. And this one we're using early espresso. Okay. Um, we're going to stamp our flower. Oh, do y'all want to see the card? Duh. Okay. Look how cute. Look how easy that is. Super easy. We're going to stamp our big flower. I think I call this the large flower. Uh, some of it's hanging off. Let's see. We're just going to do it this way. And then... Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my happy birthday? Uh, happy birthday, Paula. This card's for you too. Feel better soon and happy birthday. And then I have another piece of crumb cake. I, you know, crumb cake is another one of those colors that I don't, I'm not normally drawn to because I like bold, bright colors. However, hmm, it's perfect for this, for these cards. And we're just going to stamp a little bit there. Just simple, simple stamping. And then, so we've got all of our stamping done. We're going to take and we're going to adhere these layers. Whoops. And got this. Well, Cheryl Thompson, I'm so glad you love this card, my friend. I can see you making them. Make sure you share them on the team page. Cheryl's on my team. Make sure you share them on the team page. All right. So remember, I told y'all, don't put any adhesive here. We're going to, um, Michelle says, I just found the card I'm going to make as a set for my friend to send out for her Christmas cards this year. Yay, Michelle. We are adding adhesive to the top and the bottom only. Okay. And then we're going to put that right there. And luckily for you, the top and the bottom match our points. Okay. So there was no worry of getting excess ink. And there we go. Well, that card is done. Oh, no, 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 it's not. One more thing. We need some bling. Where's our bling? Where did... I keep losing things. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Let's 
let's try that again. <laughs> I must have twisted when I pulled it out. All right, we're going to add some champagne rhinestones to our card because it does need a little bit more something. There we go. Now we're done. Now we're done with our card. All right, what cards do we have from this month? Let's get them all out. We've got two of these, two of these, two of these, and then this fold. There we go. I hope that you guys loved these cards because they're pretty. They're pretty easy. And I can see you doing them for Christmas, birthdays, thank you, whatever. So again, thanks for joining me tonight during the live. If you're watching the replay, please leave a comment. Um, and if you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that as well below the uh, video. So ring that little bell. You'll be notified when I go live on YouTube. So I'm looking really quick. Where did I get my beautiful shirt? Mary Catherine, I got my shirt from a, a lady um, on the, uh, hmm, she does a lot of my shirts, but right now she's in the process of moving cross country. So um, send me a message and I will keep you in mind and tell you where I get my Hey Y'all shirts, my Just Go Rogue for mystery stamping, all that fun stuff. So, um, okay, I think that is it. I'm so glad y'all love the cards. Thank you for joining me live and I will see everybody at the retreat tomorrow night. Bye y'all.